mediation is certainly potentially much cheaper uh, than the legal traditional route. But it doesn't operate in a vacuum. Because the discussions are without prejudice, the conclusions of mediation, which have been described in a particular way as memorandum of understanding, I'll come back to why that's said to be how you describe it, that then has to be created into some sort of legal binding document. When I say it has to be, it doesn't have to be, because the individuals may choose not, not to need it to be a legal document. But on many occasions it may be that you need it to be a legal document. So then you go back to the family lawyers, but you've got something to give them. You've got something to say, look, we've been through this session with a mediator. We, we've spent maybe four, five, six hours with a mediator at different meetings. We've disclosed our financial information, for instance. We've made arrangements for our children in a way we feel is right. But uh, it is necessary, give an example, because you want a pension order, to go back to the court to ask for that. And the lawyer should be able to then create from the memorandum of understanding a draft consent order, which everybody then looks at, signs up to, and when it's placed before the judge, you're asking the judge to say, please, can you sanction this order as being right and proper order for this family? It's called a memorandum of understanding because the principle of mediation has always been to keep it away from being a legal document. Your discussions are without prejudice, you come up with a conclusion, but if you called it an agreement, for instance, the lawyers would think, hey, you've got an agreement here, let's see if we can prove this agreement, enforce this agreement, and all sorts of legal connotations come out of it. So it's being described as a memorandum, just a memorandum of what you've reached, where you've got to, and with the intention, perhaps, of then making it an order later. And that's where the lawyers have a good role to play. They need to create it into a realistic document that the judge will approve as an order. There's no point in having a lots of discussion and mediation unless you've got that backdrop that it actually will be enforceable or be, by becoming court order, it will be acknowledged as realistic by a judge who's looking at the paperwork later on.